G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So it's coming up on Christmas and I thought now would be the perfect time to share my top tips for making sure that you don't gain a whole bunch of weight over the Christmas break. Uh, so we're gonna get into that just after the intro. So Christmas and Christmas holidays, um, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, it is uh, it does tend to be a time for family and, and getting together. And of course that also means eating lots of, of food that you wouldn't usually eat. So I thought I'd share my top tips for um, how to make sure that you don't undo all of the good work that you've you've been working towards in terms of weight loss and, and looking after your health and fitness and, and your, uh, your diet. So uh, just before we get into my top tips, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Um, if this is the first time joining the channel, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see regular videos uh, from me, with my no bullshit approach to, to weight loss and fitness and everything I pick up along the way as I go through my own little journey. Um, look me up on Instagram or Facebook, they're both identical, um, but you know, choose your social media platform of choice, drop me a comment. Um, so I'll get straight into it. So, you know, as I said, Christmas or the, the festive holidays at the end of the year, uh, it's a time for family. It's, it's a time where most people want to relax and, and just really enjoy uh, the company of, of their loved ones. So when it comes to uh, you know, how it's going to affect your diet. My first and, and probably most my most important tip is just enjoy it. If you've been working on a weight loss program, you might be seeing some gains um, in terms of, of, you know, progressing forward with your, your diet. Um, you know, you've earned a break. So my first, my first piece of advice really is don't approach it with a sense of shame. Um, just relax and enjoy it. You can take a few days off. It's not going to derail your entire program. But there are some things that you can do to help uh, you know, avoid some of the common pitfalls. And the first one is directly linked to what I just said, avoid stress. A lot of us stress eat when we, you know, when we're feeling emotional or depressed, stressed about something, uh, a lot of us fall back to eating as a way to deal with that uh, as a coping mechanism, stress eating. So don't stress about breaking your diet, you're actually less likely to break your diet. It's a little ironic and, and cyclical, but there it is. Um, next tip I would, I would recommend strongly is to plan ahead. Um, you know, what days are you going to, to kind of relax your diet and just enjoy, you know, whatever it is you're doing with your, your family? Um, you know, what days are you going to, to not worry too much about watching every little thing that you eat? Plan it ahead. You obviously don't want to take a block of 10 days in a row and just go crazy. You don't want to pig out. Um, but you know, if you plan ahead for the days that you know you're going to be spending time with your family at a barbecue or some sort of event, um, plan ahead those days. And then on the days that you haven't planned ahead to have it, you know, to kind of relax and, and just enjoy that time, make sure you stick to your macros. Next tip, um, treat the days that you've planned ahead, you know, particularly things like Christmas day and Boxing Day and New Year's, these are the common days that you probably plan ahead to relax your eating a bit. Treat it like a cheat day. Try and stay under your calorie target, even if you're not sticking to your macros. If you go a little bit over, so be it, but make sure you track it. Um, the most important tip I could give you is no matter how bad it looks at the end of the day, make sure you are still tracking what you're eating. You need to know what you ate. When it comes to time, when it comes time to actually sit down and eat with your family and your loved ones, uh, my, my tips around that really are, try and focus on eating your protein first. So, you know, typically you've, I mean, particularly in Australia, you've got um, Christmas ham, Christmas turkey, uh, lots of chicken. You know, those are the sorts of, of foods you should be going for first. So when you sit down to eat a plate of food, start with your protein, um, you know, eat some salad. The, the point of, the reason I'm recommending you start with your protein is protein will fill your stomach very quickly. It will leave less room for you to get stuck into the pavlova afterwards and the ice cream and all the trimmings and all the other desserts. Um, it doesn't mean don't have any dessert. It just means that, you know, by starting with your protein, your, your stomach's gonna be full. You're gonna eat smaller portions of the really refined sugary stuff that you, you kind of don't wanna go too hard on. Um, the other thing is when you're, when you're um, out with friends or when you're enjoying time with your loved ones, uh, just watch the booze intake. Don't avoid drinking. It is the time of year where most of us are drinking. Um, I'm not saying don't but do just try and moderate it as best you can. It is empty carbohydrates and it's, you know, unless you're drinking clear spirits like, like gin or vodka, um, you know, it, it contains a hell of a lot of beer, um, it contains a hell of a lot of empty calories. So, so just keep an eye on that. And again, track it. Um, 
The next piece of advice I'd give you is don't starve yourself the day after. It, no matter how hard you went, no matter how badly you ate, um, you know, say it's, it's Christmas day, don't starve yourself on Boxing Day. All it ends up doing is um, you end up binging to make up for the fact that you've starved yourself. Uh, it can throw you into, into a depression. It can cause stress because you, you're not eating and then you're binge eating. You, you're feeling guilty the day afterwards, which again goes back into stress eating. Just don't starve yourself. The day after your cheat day, just go back to a normal day, which is why you're treating it like a cheat day. Um, and the, end, the last piece of advice, this is a very short video, watch the sugar cravings. So I don't, I, I don't know if it's a common thing, but certainly I find when I've been on my, a, a good diet for several weeks, uh, I don't even notice that it's missing, but I don't crave chocolate anymore. I don't crave refined sugar. But if I eat a piece of chocolate or if I eat a chocolate bar for whatever reason, I will find for the next three or four days, I'll crave more chocolate or I'll crave ice cream. I, I honestly think, I mean, you know, it's well documented that refined sugar is quite addictive. So just be aware of that, um, that if you are, you know, you, ha you are eating refined sugar on your cheat days, like the pav that I, the pavlova that I just mentioned, um, just, be, just be wary for the next three or four days, you're likely to have cravings that you're gonna need to push aside for refined sugar. That's it. Probably my, my well, definitely my last and probably the most important tip is just enjoy. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's Christmas time. It only happens once a year. You want to make the most of it. Spend time with your loved ones and your family and, and just chill um, before we get stuck into 2019. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Again, check me out on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, if you got any use out of this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, thumbs up, um, hit subscribe if you want to see regular content for, from me. Uh, and I just wanted to quickly say before we get into Christmas, a very Merry Christmas to you. Uh, thank you so much for all your support over uh, the last 12 months, my first year on YouTube, and I will see you just before New Year's. Uh, until then, take care.